Hey, it's Angelo with Angelo's Edge again. Got a, another knife unboxing. Uh, this one's a Smith & Wesson SWAT LB. Large black. Uh, oh, yeah. Give me a big thumbs up uh, for my... Well, two thumbs up, one thumbs up. Just give me a like before I get into the video. Uh, all right, so do an unboxing. Uh, I got this one a few weeks ago at the tractor supply and I liked it. I mean, I only paid $7 for it, but I was, I was, I think the Smith and Wesson might've came a little bit more than, I don't know. I like this one. So I, I ended up buying another one on Amazon. So this is what I got. It's a SWAT LB. So let's open, unbox it. So it. Comes in a little box here. And here's what it looks like. I did a, a short on this showing you that I was going to unbox it this week. Here, here's the unboxing. And there it is the SWAT Smith & Wesson. Let's go a close up of it. So you guys can see, that's why I like watching videos, I like seeing what, all I could see before I buy a knife, what it looks like, I'll drop it down there, it has a the safety switch, you can select it on and off, Let's flip it over this side, it has some patent numbers, so black on black, it is only tip down right handed carry. So it has a nice big lanyard hole if that's what you're into. And there's two ways to deploy it. It's a liner lock. The liner lock is pretty good. Nice and real good lock up. Not too thin of a liner lock. Has jimping there. It has jimping in a lot of places. You see, I can one hand close it. It has a really nice spring. So let's oh, so I'm gonna show you the two ways you could deploy it. Is this like a switch you're not a switch but a lever this way or with the classic thumb studs that way oh, let me do that again there you go so you have two options the only thing i did notice i don't know if it was deliberate or not the if you look on this side it feels really grippy like sandpaper the flip side it's more of a softer material I don't know if that's deliberate so when you let's see if you slide it in your pants see if you had it in your let's see I'm gonna try something let's see let's try using the box so we'll see if you would have it in your pants the clip would be Right there, that's what it'd look like if you're carrying it. That's as far as you know, it's not deep carry. So, I'm wondering if they put this softer material closer to where your pants would be. So that way it don't wear your pants out. Because this is like a soft grip. So, not smooth, but it's, it's, it feels softer. But this this side feels like sandpaper. So, I'm I'm guessing, I could be wrong, that they did it deliberately. So, there's the pocket clip. So if you had it in your pocket, this would it look like. It's kind of a little bit of a... The pocket clip slides in real nice and easy. It's not too weak. It actually feels good. It's a little designer of a park, pocket clip. And there's only one way to carry it. Let's see. Looks like it's open pillar construction. The pillars are kind of decorative. You know, like they're... they're they look like they're laved or milled or whatever they're not just straight grommets you know they're kind of look they have a tech they have like a little milling that looks like a lot of jumping all around the candle right there let's pop this back open jumping up up here you can bring it up it's a drop point oh it has the 40 40 three steel I'm don't know 
That's what it says. 40, 43. Let's see, where's this at? Steel. So I I I haven't sharpened it yet. Cause it came out of the box. Uh it came pretty uh pretty good. Uh see was it hair shaving sharp? Uh yeah, it is hair shaving sharp. It it's sharp enough to shave. It's a rough shave, you know, it's like, it's not like, it's a, but it shaves nonetheless. So the, it came sharp. It's a hollow grind. I believe it's a hollow grind. Let me see if he's, I believe it's a hollow grind. So it, I like hollow grinds. I just like them the way they, I like the way they sharpen, they slice really nice. So, anyways, I'm going to check. I want to try looking at here. Check this box out. It says American Outdoors. Now, and then this box I bought this other one in. It, it has like a battlefield or battenfield production. I don't know if this is their cheaper line. But this one's made in China. The one that I paid for $7 for. This one right here. And this one is actually made in Taiwan. So, I don't know if they they spend more money on the one. Like, this one costs $34. Let me go to the, the website. Or, or show Amazon. Here we go. Check this out. Here's what I bought. It's like thirty four eighty nine. Let me see if I miss anything. There's four different, four different ones. There's a partially shredded. So, so that's that kind of looks cool. Plain edge edge is the one I got, and there's a smaller version, so it's probably about a three inch blade. This is a fairly large knife. It's not a small knife. So it's I'll do a size comparison after a second or two. Let me see. Oh, three point seven inch blade. Blade. Uh, eight eight inches long. It has the 4034 black oxide, high carbon stainless steel with black aluminum handle. So it's aluminum handles. The, ha the handles almost look plastic, but they're aluminum. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. And, Beck, and, and uh, you know, so you, it has the magic, their patented magic assist opening, which is, a, it does fly open really good. Uh, will not slip out. And it has nice liner lock. Let's see. It is, I think it is worth the $34. Let's see, uh, let me pop back out of here. Go back here and let's see. What was I going to do? I was going to, oh, size comparison. You can see this one right here that they're basically the same. Let's get rid of this one. I was just, I was just curious about the, if they have like the cheaper ones made in China and then the more expensive ones made in Taiwan. I don't know if you know anything like or uh comment in the comments and inform me uh i always like to learn some stuff what was i gonna i was gonna get a, a tenacious there we go and how about the gerber 06 uh and how about a, i don't know how about the boker strike all right, there's four different knives. Let's see which one is the closest. Okay, well, first of all, the Tenacious is it's a little shorter handle. We got, let's do a count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half, like I said on the description. Eight and a half. So it's larger than the Tenacious. The... For some reason, I, I I know they don't look really the same, but I really think these are really compat or compatible. These look like I think are really competitors right here. The Gerber Fast 06 and this one, they just they don't look the same, but they're the same size knife. Uh, they have the same style like Auto. This one is not a liner lock, but they both you know they're not I should say Auto. They're assisted. And then let's try the look at the boker. So it's a it's a fairly large knife. 
That's all I can say. It's three point eight, three point seven inch blade. So let's get that rid of that. Uh, let's see. Do we have any cardboard ready? Do you want? Let's see. Do some slicing the cardboard. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's do some. Uh, let's see. We'll set this down here. Where's my phone book? phone book look at my phone book there it is let's try see i should slice through phone paper it's shaved so it should so we're gonna do a slice test slice the phone book paper oh so it, it does it's a rough slice but it, it slices through it so yeah it slices the phone paper book or phone paper all right Let's uh, do some cardboard. Let's see if we'll do some slices of cardboard. Okay, here we go. Let's see how. Cardboard. That's what I, I think majority of people slice cardboard. I mean, I don't think a lot of people are out bushcrafting or anything. Let's try. What we're going to do. We'll do uh, these two pieces, then we'll go back to the foam paper. I might have, I probably dropped this, but that's not it. Alright. There's a bunch of cardboard, maybe 18 or 20 cuts. So, you know, slicing some cardboard. We're going to go back to the phone, paper, phone book paper. I'm not going to straw, I'm just going to go right to it. I'm going to wipe the blade off. I took some some wax on it. There you go. Still pretty good. Actually, I don't know, maybe the cardboard honed it in. It's actually slicing pretty nice right now, actually. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. 4034 steel. Alright, let's see if it still shaves. I'm maybe let's see. I guess that's the same as before. It shaves. It's just a it's a rough shave. It's like not a smooth shave. So let's see what we got. I wanna take a look at my take a close up look at the blade, see how it looks. I don't see no damage. It's just, just got. It did a pretty good job. It's got some of the sticker stuff on it. Let's wipe the blade off. See if it make sure it didn't. See if it didn't. Uh, and I don't know. You know, Smith and Wesson. Uh, the other knives I have, it's probably it's not a treated blade. I don't believe it's just painted. So I'm sure the the paint will wear off eventually. But here's the. Uh, Wiping it off with alcohol, see what it does. See if it knocks the scuff marks off and stuff. There we go. Some alcohol. And let's take a look at the blade. Yeah, I can't. It cleaned up real nice. Cleaned up real nice. All right, let's one more time. Look at the blade. Tip down. The patent numbers. One hand close. All right. Go one more time. Let's do it. Got a this way or this way. All right. I'm gonna wrap it up. Remember, to give me a thumbs up uh, and a like. So, all right. That's all for Angelo. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.